Share the line. Share the line. This tree 919 FM on Facebook and Instagram. Share the line. Iowa George on Instagram. Share the line. Iowa TV and Street Street TV on YouTube. Share the line. The Street 919 FM. Broadcasting from Trinidad to the world. The Street 919 FM.com. News from the street, 919FM.com. Here's what's happening. Good afternoon. I am Vanessa Thomas with the 12 o'clock news on the streets, 919 FM and online Facebook and YouTube. In the headlines, the Prime Minister instructs Public Utilities Minister to meet with Labour Movement Union leaders to fix WASA problems. The Education Minister tells parents and guardians to send their children to school. Retired Trinidad Cement Limited employees want monies owed to them, and internationally Hong Kong struggles with zero-tolerance strategy as COVID infections rise. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has instructed Public Utilities Minister Marvin Gonzalez to meet with members of the labor movement to solve what he described as a WASA problem. Speaking during a virtual public meeting on Saturday, Dr. Rowley noted that a desalination project that costs 324 million U.S. dollars has negatively affected the revenue of the Water and Surge Authority. He said there is a corruption problem in the country. So the bulk of the water is being supplied by water from non-desal means. But that plant in Point Lisas, which we are contracted to till 2034, Supplying, what, 17% is it? 17% of our water supply has bankrupted WASA. WASA is bankrupt. In a stern manner, the Prime Minister instructed the Public Utilities Minister to meet with Labour leaders to get their input on the many problems that have been plaguing WASA for years. Monday morning, right Natuk and Jitom, and invite them to sit down with you. You explain to them what is happening at Wasa, because all of us have to drink water. And let, get from them their input into solving the Wasa problem. Dr. Rowley said he will provide the authority restructuring documents for the meeting and encouraged Minister Gonzalez to seek assistance from any minister, but he must report his findings to the cabinet within six weeks. In other news, Education Minister Dr. Nayan Gatsby Dolly has called on parents and guardians of students from Forms 1 to 3 and Standard 5 to allow children to return to physical classes. Schools reopen today, February 7th, for students mentioned. So as we bring our children back out, I encourage you parents, send your children to school. Those who can be vaccinated, give them the best chance of protection. And let us get our country back on the road to success. The education minister was speaking at a virtual public meeting held at Success Laventil Composite School on Saturday and said while some students may have excelled academically with online classes, data from standardized tests showed that many more suffered during the pandemic. In 2021, 47% of the students that wrote CSEC in Trinidad and Tobago got their full certificate, five subjects including math and English. That's your basic preparation for work at a reasonable standard. That's your basic preparation, 47%. In 2020, it was 55%. The education minister said the pandemic exacerbated a critical situation, adding that students in primary schools were also affected. As Forms 1 to 3 and Standard 5 students return to school today, Gatsby Dolly said the ministry can ensure that students return in a safe environment. There are entry protocols in place at our schools, sinks for hand washing, temperature gauges, and now freestanding we have delivered to the schools so that you can take the temperature. And these are the entry protocols that are required so that any signs you pick it up as early as possible. We have said in our schools that there is universal masking. That's a debate in other countries. 
The education minister encouraged parents and guardians to get their children vaccinated. In more news, retirees of the Trinidad Cement Limited is again calling on the company to pay monies owed to them. Over 40 retired employees of the cement company have made frequent visits to the head office in Claxton Bay in hopes of being paid their pensions. However, their union rep says they are still waiting. The collective agreement is not being honored and workers are being owed since 2015. Now for the pensioners, it's even more serious because these fellas then work all their life here and coming back out now to fight because their pension were calculated incorrectly because it was calculated on a lower rate than it should have been calculated for. The TCL local branch representative Kevin Arjun said the union is in full support of the actions by the retirees. He wants the company to be truthful with them and stop playing games. And one minute they're saying daddy money, next minute they're saying the company has no money. And you are either paying yourself hundreds or thousands of dollars in bonuses. So if we, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know why they continue this bullying tactic towards the workers. All we want is what is owed to us. We don't want nothing extra. We don't want nothing less. We want what is owed to us. We want them to sort out the retirees. The union is promising that the workers and retirees will continue to put pressure on management and explore all options available to them to get redress. Internationally, Hong Kong reported a record 640 new COVID-19 cases on Monday. Health authorities say it's the biggest test yet for the city's zero-COVID strategy as it grapples to contain a growing outbreak. The global financial hub, which is following mainland China's strategy of suppressing all coronavirus outbreaks as soon as possible has seen cases soar since January with over 2,000 infections compared with just two in December. We have this Al Jazeera report to tell us more. Thousands of Hong Kong residents queuing up at testing centers across the city on the day the territory records its highest number of COVID-19 cases since the pandemic began. A record 614 infections were reported on Monday, nearly double the number announced the day before. Many of the cases are untraceable. Authorities called the sharp surge an unprecedented challenge and urged people to stay at home. For people in Hong Kong who lived for months without any local transmission last year, this is uncharted territory. I'm really worried, not only for myself, but mostly for my family and yeah, the people around me basically yeah it's been a uh, crazy uh, once the year started you know no one expected this the government should be more scientific or have a strategy and roadmap to let the public understand the purpose of the anti-epidemic measures the government does not have any roadmap or strategy now but only random plans Hong Kong authorities have given no sign they're willing to veer from the zero COVID-19 strategy adopted by mainland China, especially when vaccination rates among Hong Kong's elderly remain sluggish. Strict pandemic controls are still in place, including flight bans and quarantine facilities for those who test positive. Hong Kong is bracing for social distancing restrictions to be extended even further. And officials warn that cases here could rise in the coming days as the effects of last week's Lunar New Year gatherings take hold. Brick Clenet, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong. And that was the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM and online Facebook and YouTube. Recapping the headlines, the Prime Minister instructs Public Utilities Minister to meet with Labour Movement Union leaders to fix WASA problems. The Education Minister tells parents and guardians to send their children to school. Retired Trinidad Cement Limited employees want monies owed to them and internationally Hong Kong struggles with zero tolerance strategy as COVID infections rise. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. I am Vanessa Thomas.
street. News from the street. 919FM.com. Broadcasting from Trinidad to the world. The street 919FM.com. Jesus, Lord, put that hand on these wicked people. It's so hard, trust me, I know that Trust me, I know that And often times You can't seem to find any motivation It's only frustration But I can't afford to show the pace Now it's not time to lose the faith One thing I know, mommy, race a fighter, fighter But mind the people want me fail But each time I fall, I rise again Then I get in that satisfaction, yeah Soka shot on the shit 919 FM. What goes in is a local something that makes it all, that makes it all taste better. It's the flavor of our culture. Come from.